welcome back. So today we're going to be focusing on our lemon tree. It's looking pretty sad. Uh, I know I've talked about this in previous videos, but everything that we've done so far hasn't worked. So now we are going to go all hands on deck, do everything that we can, kind of exhaust the possibilities. Uh, we did remove a lemon. We were able to use it. It tasted great. It yielded a lot of juice. So it, it is healthy, it is working, it is doing what it's supposed to do. And we do have about a dozen or so lemons on there right now. Now they're all starting to turn. I think it's a little premature. I mean, they're about the size of a golf ball right now. So I think we sh they should be getting a lot bigger before they start to ripen. So that could be a sign of fertilizer issues. The, the drainage could be an issue. So we're gonna just repot the whole thing. We are gonna take everything out. We're gonna repot it. We're gonna use some citrus tone. We are going to basically restart this thing and try to jumpstart it again. Um, we are gonna stay on top. We're obviously, we've been staying on top of the watering, but it doesn't seem to be enough. So we're gonna try some other things, try to really push it a little bit more to try to bring it back. We are getting some new growth, which is nice, but we're not sure the extent, it, if it should be growing more or because it's in a dormant state that uh, it should be easing off. So as I go through, I'll explain what I'm doing and the reasons I'm doing it, some of the problems we're having, uh, what our suspicions are of what it could be, and hopefully everything will start going well and you guys can check us out on Facebook and, and Instagram to see the updates on the tree. Uh, but that's it. So we're going to head out to Menards to pick up some things. I'll take you along with me. Now let's get going. Now that we're back, I'll take a look at the plant. We'll just kind of walk through some of it. You can see where it's starting to yellow. The fruit's starting to yellow out already. Uh, it's only about the size of a golf ball right now, but every single one of them is starting to yellow out. Some of them aren't even developing. They're stunted pretty bad. This is the area in which we're getting a lot of our new growth, but we are getting some leaf curl. And we've had a few that have fallen with leaf curl. The soil is moist, but it seems very dense. So I'm wondering if that's some of the issue. It might be holding a little too much water. It's not aer it's not uh, uh, aerating right, and the water's not going through it. And I don't know if this is a mold growing on top. Our moisture reader was reading moist. It is getting light in this room from the grow light and from some of the natural light. Now the pot we are using is a self-watering pot. I will be emptying everything out and I will be filling it with new soil. I'm going to be going with a Schultz potting soil. So hopefully this will add enough of that space and airiness to the soil. Then we're going to be adding our citrus tone by Espoma. And the nice thing is, is that we are actually at the time where we should be adding some in late winter. At the end of January, early February, we should be adding it to the soil. And we'll be adding about a cup to the uh, potting soil when I repot it and then we'll mix it all in and hopefully that will uh, add enough fertilizer to it and we won't be fertilizing it again until late spring.
Now we're going to thin out the fruit and make sure it's not weighing down any of the branches too much and make sure everything's getting the proper amount of nutrients. Now we're going to be applying the natria insecticidal soap, which should help us against the spider mites, powdery mildew, any sort of aphids, or anything that we're having that would be causing some of the issues that we're having here. So we're going to be spraying the top of the leaves, underneath the leaves, and all the fruit. Alright guys, so that's it. Now when I first started this, I used a, an app called Picture This, and I used this to kind of try to troubleshoot what our issues were with the plant. Um, and it came up with just a variety based on what, it, what I took a picture of and what the angle was. So as I could tell from using this app, everything is wrong with our plant and it's healthy. So. I don't know how good the app is when it comes to diagnosing what is wrong, when it's something that you're not sure what it is. Uh, when, if you've got a specific problem, it, it should be able to help you. But in this case, it wasn't able to help diagnose anything for me. So what I did was treat everything. So everything should be good to go now. I've got brand new soil in, it's fully aerated, so it should have good moisture. Everything should be able to flow through it without holding it in. So we should uh, defeat some of the root rot. Uh, we should be able to keep it moist without being too moist. We'll monitor with our hydrometer to see our moisture levels just to make sure we're not overwatering. Uh, we will continue to keep humidity in the air by spritzing it every day or so. Um, I've thinned out the fruit to make sure that all of the nutrients are going to the fruit that are necessary without overwhelming the, the plant too much. Um, I've got to fight the potential for any mildew, for the, uh, the powder mildew, the gnats we saw flying around from the actual mildew on the uh, soil itself. I've treated it with an insecticidal soap. I think that's it, other than the light. Um, right now, I know our light isn't great in this room, but it's better than all the other ones because we have constant light in this room with a skylight and two windows, but it is east facing. So we do have a grow light on it as well as all of the natural light coming in. So if necessary, I can add another light to it and maybe that'll help, but I've readjusted the light to cover more of the leaves and more of the plants that I could. So I think that's gonna really be it I, at this point. I think I've exhausted what I can do. If anybody has any suggestions, please leave it in the comment section below and we'll give it a try. At this point, I'm willing to try anything. I'm new to caring for this, so uh, we're doing the best that we can. I hope I inspired you. I hope everything I did made sense. If you have any suggestions, please give it. We're willing to listen. And that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.